For the last five years, Safaricom has been on a journey to achieve a very ambitious goal of transforming the Kenyan farmer. To achieve this, Safaricom enlisted the support of one of its key partners, Masi Core. We've actually been working with Safaricom for the past uh, four, probably four and a half years. Uh, from the beginning, where we uh, have been providing support to Safaricom uh, to figure out what are the needs of the farmers uh, before we build the, te the technology. Uh, and this was by doing human centered design uh, to actually figure out what is the lifestyle of the farmer, how does the farmer's uh, life begin from the time they wake up in the evening, uh, what are the activities, and then how do we now integrate technology in their lives and how do we make sure that this technology is actually meeting the needs that they have. A DG farm has grown over the years with over 1.3 million farmers registered in the platform across various counties in Kenya. Digifarm is offering them a bundle of services including access to quality farm inputs, affordable input loan, learning materials, quality advisory services, insurance cover for their produce, soil testing services and access to markets. To reach the farmers, Digifarm utilizes the services of farmers' representatives known as Digifarm Village Advisors or DVAs. To walk the journey with the farmer, uh, Safaricom has come up with a, a program uh, called the Digifarm Village Advisors where they have uh, let me call them like ex extension officers um, <clears throat> and they are supposed to walk the journey with the farmers so this digital farm village advisor has a group of farmers that he manages and works with and walks the, 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 the full cycle of the cropping cycle with the farmer. As we transition from an analog way of doing things to an automated way of doing things through the phone digitally, they help us to move from a behavior perspective, be able to explain to the farmer what actually this means on the ground, and they're able to handhold the farmer all the way across the line. As the number of registered farmers increased, so did the number of DVAs. The increased number of DVAs posed a challenge in effectively managing, monitoring and incentivizing them. First, we, it was very manual, uh, very hectic to manage them. Uh, we had very many of those, uh, digi uh, let me call them DVAs. However, managing them became very difficult. Uh, and over the, the few months, we've had to now think of other ways uh, to actually digitize and monitor uh, the, the DVAs and also monitor their, um, their activities as well as provide incentives for all the activities that they perform. One of the things that has been very difficult for us from a DVA perspective is being able to have visibility, end-to-end -end visibility of what each and every DVA is doing on the ground. So to that extent, we were able to bring in a solution which basically monitors and is able to support the Digifarm Village Advisor as he performs his duties on the ground. We are transiting from uh, uh, hard copy or paperwork uh, to, to the form because the future is virtual for, for even the farmers also. To manage the DVS better, Safaricom with support from Massey Core engage cropping technologies to deploy a mobile app to be used by the DVAs. product that we are actually using right now with Safaricom is Smart Farm and what it does is it's a complete farm management solution. So when we are talking about Smart Farm, we talk about the fact that you can actually register a farmer, you can take his image, you can register his farmer code, you can also map his area. So even if a farmer has got two or three different plots of land with different crops, so what we can do is we can map his areas, we can know which type of crops this particular gentleman is doing. And after that, what we do is the, uh, the people actually, uh, the field technicians who actually go to the fields, they can continue to go, they can capture images, they can capture the alerts, the problems that have actually come into the field. They can suggest the farmers what kind of chemicals and pesticides they actually need to use. And all this information is actually put in our portal where the management can actually see and check how exactly all the people are working, where they are going on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, and based on that, they are compensated. If I go in quickly today in the dashboard that I have today, I can quickly see how many DVAs have been on this particular ward and narrowed down specifically to what each DVA is doing in terms of performance. So for us, it's able to make incentivizing even very easy. To introduce the app, Digifarm's extension and implementing partner Kenya Livestock Producers Association, KLPA, was tasked to organize training seminars for the DVAs and the managers. The first to be trained were Digifarm managers and extension officers. 
They were trained by a team from Cropping Technologies in Nairobi and did some practical field work at Ndumberi in Kiambu. And most importantly for you, uh, as you will be handling a, uh, some huge set of DVS, suppose if you are handling 10 DVS, if you want to know only one particular DVS performance or one particular DVS uh, as a farmers which are registered by him. So here we have some filters like more. And here you can search by the farmer or you have the, uh, if you want to know the details of any particular code, uh, the Farikam code, and you want to know the, his particular details, you can input that particular Safari farm farmer code over here and it will reflect all the details with respect to him. Only that particular farmers will be displayed over here. With extension officers and county managers having understood the app, a countrywide training program for the DVAs was rolled out. A training was held in Akuru for the Rift Valley region, another training was held in Migori for the Luo Nyanza region, where Buya hosted the training for the Western region, Makindu for the Lower Eastern region, and Meru County for the Mount Kenya region. Across the various regions, DVAs were taken through the cropping app. He now has idea to record everything related to the farm and the farmer. Na ina haina limit ya how many farmers wewe is a DVO kona where you are signed. Sasa ukifungua smart farm up this is the main page utakuwa ukiona. Okay. Hapa juu siju kama hapa muone vizuri mkifungua simu up, 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 V5.7. Yes, V5.7 means you version 5.7. Now, uh, we have three tabs. Yakwanzi meandikwa overview. Tona kumeandikwa overview. Tasks and farmer. Overview. Apo uh, utona the number of farmers. These are the number, the total number of farmers, the total number of plots. Now, the number of farmers and the number of plots are assigned per DVO or per user within the app. So one of the crucial tasks you as a DVO unafaa kufanya is once you add a farmer, you have to add a plot, geotag, then area audit. Those four tasks ni muhimu. Whenever you're doing a geotag, Lazima ukue kwa shamba, physically, ya mkulima. Do not geotag the plot ukiwa kwa nyumba ya mkulima. Sawa? Physically, lazima uende kwa shamba, uone ndiyo hii shamba. Sawa? Ingia ndani kidogo and just press on geotag. The next task we call area audit. Tumeona tukona geotag. And we have area audit. What is an area audit? Area audit is we want to get the exact size ya shamba. So, so, mkulima metuambia kona 1.5 acres. Sindio? We want to confirm if that 1.5 acres is the actual size. The Waleta issued with mobile gadgets is sold with the app and practical sessions organized so that the DVAs would try the app in a farm setup. Uh, we had, uh, had a very successful uh, regional training for our DVAs. Uh, so basically, uh, we have been equipping uh, the DVAs uh, with uh, several things. First of all, uh, proper profiling, 
uh, number two uh, training adequate training and uh, on agricultural uh, related issues or matters uh, then uh, the actual uh, training on the on the phone the smartphone which now has the the digifarm app uh, and the training also involves uh, a lot of practicals because basically it is a practical engagement the DVAs were very receptive to the app with many saying that the app will make their work much easier hii simu italeta kasi rahisi sana kusajili mkulima maana mimi nilikuwa na changamoto kubwa sana nikiwa nimebeba na vitabu saa nyingine mvua inanyesha hizo makaratasi mvua inanyesha inararuka haiweki record kamili lakini wakati wameleta hii smartphone tunafurahia sana kwa kutumia simu na kuanga rahisi kuliko kuandika sababu utakuwa ukitumia muda mwingi ukiandika utume barua ama upeane makaratasi warudie uh, warudie kusoma watakuwa ni nikiandika kwa simu na tuma mtu anajua ni nini inaendelea kwa haraka what features of the app did the DVS find most interesting ile hey, nimeona ni very interesting ni ya uh, geotagging hii ya uh, heri hounded ni meona ni meona manjavu sana kwa maana unachunguka tu shamba mwisho wa kufika kona ya mwisho inakutolea inakutolea kipimo cha shamba yote the alerts vile nafaa nijue kama kuna shida kwa shamba kisha ni ni alert the digi farm the most interesting feature ya hii mtambo ni kuwa eh, kitu ya kwanza you don't capture eh, jina ya mtu but kutumia ile simu yake ya saf, eh, line ya safaricom unaweza kupata farm code ndio unatumia so iko na kind of privacy but eh, una, unaweza ku retrieve kutoka kwa simu ya mkulima una feed up kitu nimenifutia sana ni kwa hii app mambo ya accuracy Najua hata saa zingine sisi tunaenda mahali tunaweza lease kama farmer anaweza lease shamba lakini hiyo shamba kumbe sio eh, anmelisi at one acre but in a real sense it's not one acre Ficha ambayo imenifurahisha sana ni jinsi ya kusajili mkulima kupitia kwa mtambo huu Hiyo imenifurahisha zaidi na nyingine eh, ni vile una, unafuatilia progress ya mashamba vile naenda mpaka harvesting time na marketing ya kwanza ni pale kwa field ila kutoka na actual size of the lot hiyo ni moja ya pili ni mmea utafua ndile picha the exactly crop yenye iko pale so hautakuwa una report kusita sita sijui na, na, nafikiria hii ni nini a a nitatuma ile picha pale ionekane kabisa ni mmea fulani na kutakuwa na lot of transparency. The DVAs will be compensated based on the various activities that they will perform on the app with each activity paid at an agreed rate. How do the DVAs find this compensation model? In fact, hii ndio nimeona ni mzuri sana kwa maana out of experience ni nimehusishwa kufanya survey nyingi na wengine ndio ulikuwa unaona wengine walikuwa naenda wanaifanyia chini ya kiburi, chini ya muti na wanapeana report lakini sasa nimeona ni ya kweli kabisa na hii ndio napenda sana kwa maana itakula simu mpaka utembee utembee mahali mkulima hako na hiyo itasaidia sana hata kupeana handvice kwa mkulima ili inatakikana so hii ya kufanya kwa kwa simu hii ya kufanya kwa mitandao ninaona ni mzuri sana haina uongo wowote hii ni, ni jambo limeletwa ambalo litasaidia ukweli kabisa na shukuru sana kwa Digifarm juu hapo awali tulikuwa tunakimbia sana unaenda sana lakini unajua mkubwa wako pale hata jua sasa hivi mimi nitaenda nikiamua kwenda kwa wakulima tuseme 20 kwa siku moja hiyo ndio natengeneza na pesa yangu mingi sio ile reporting ya kumwambia madam nimeenda kwa wakulima 20 mimi na nikasi ngumu anaona kama nandanganya so hii mtambo iko na uasi mingi sana kwa hivyo chenye nita report atakikubali na atanilipa so namba 2 hii mtambo mmoja amechukua kama ni mudhaifu ah kuna mahali atafika ah, at last ataanza kuchukua kampuni ndio udhaifu wake The Digifarm revolution has not gone unnoticed 
Other African countries are taking lessons and developing innovations inspired by Digifarm. We've also seen uh, other organizations, even in other countries, coming to you know see what Safaricom has been doing on Digifarm. Uh, one example is uh, uh, a bank in, in Zambia called Zanaco that have actually tried to uh, build a solution that is similar to what Digifarm is. Uh, and it's, it's actually encouraging to see that we've actually now moved uh, the, skill set, the skill set and the solution to interest other organizations, not only in, in Kenya, but in other countries in Africa. Safaricom has come a long way on the journey to transform the Kenyan farmer. The journey ahead is long, adventurous and full of lessons. With the support of partners like Masi Core, the transformation of the Kenyan farmers will happen sooner rather than later.